this shit, man. Rockin', chopping off a profit, going on shopping sprees, blocking my back pocket, already cock okay, I'm blocking. Hey, what's up, guys? And uh, I was watching Zombie Pop Clips on Sci Fi, and I decided to uh, review on some elbow pads. What I've got with me is STX K teens, and uh, the Brian, uh, I don't really, it's just Brian. Obviously, you'll be able to see these if you're shopping. Um, it's got all protection, it's got squishy fabric. There's the miniature, and I'm full of these, so I'm gonna be reviewing these today. Um, what I'm be telling you in this video is if you have one of these pads and you decide you're trying to decide on whether which one you should use or whatever. Um, I'm gonna be telling you which one you should use, why you should use it, and how it affects your game on shooting, um passing, getting arm length, playing defense, being able to stretch your arms fully, and if you play goalie, it lets sometimes refs make you wear elbow pads when you play goalie. So I'm gonna be showing you that in this video so uh, I'm gonna get down to it um, I'm just gonna get straight to it I'm gonna pick Brian I really prefer Brian with everything other than Warrior just because Brian it seems like they really work with their pads I'm being this is this makes no sense but kinda chill like no it so they're not all stiff STX kind of has their pads stiff I can't stand being stiff when I play. I hate it. Um, so there's one reason why I pick these. And number two, just with the, with the K team, inside, you can, there's the line. You can see it. That line is where this starts. And it, there's no protection. It looks like there's protection, but it's not protection. I got whacked in the elbow right there with these on. And it hurt my funny bones so bad. I mean, my entire right arm was or left arm was burning. And it's still sore to this day whenever you touch it right there. And that's when I had these. I knew I had to be something to be done, but I still kept these to wear them. Also, I don't like about these is the straps. Once these get old, the straps wear off. And I've noticed this this fabric stretches when you have them for a little while. So it's almost as if you think they'd get too small. They're almost getting too big for you. And you're trying to tighten them, but these straps can only tighten so far. So that's what happened to me, and you see they're they're kind of just they're good, but just not very protective. And when you play midi, especially tag midi, you need protection. Um, so this really answers all those questions. It has a protection on the entire elbow. There's no creases or anything, and these creases right here, it's still got that spongy feel. So the enti your entire elbow is padded. I'm gonna show you what I look like when I wear. So I've got this on right here, and I've got my glove that goes into a bar right here, so I have a little space, but it's alright. And then my shoulder pad, the strap comes down right, to right here, so almost my entire arm is protected. Um, so I mean, that's why I really like about these two, but if you are like a face-off guy, like a Fogo though, where you, you know, you face-off get off, so you're not really worrying about too much protection, there's smaller ones for these. But since I do face-offs, I also stay on the field, I need my protection around deep holes and stuff. Also, I like about these is these bend so easily. You bend your arm, there's no tension. It doesn't hurt your arm, like, wrinkle-wise. This, the STX K18 kind of does. It looks like it bends easily, but it really doesn't. It's just really loose. And the, the fabric, though, right here is basically the same. I mean, it's basically the same, like, right here. Where it lets your arm breathe. It's basically the same. But the difference is what surrounds it, because that affects it. Like, you can see when you bend what happens, it sinks inward, and that kind of hurts your arm. But with this, when you do it, it absorbs. It kind of, like, goes with the motion. So if you bend it to the sides, the mesh, it really keeps going with it. And that's what I really like about these, because when you're dodging, your arms can be bending a lot, and that, these really help. Um, Because then, if you don't have it, you're just talking about awkwardness with it, and it just gets annoying. So, um, that was basically my review. I tried to have a quick video for you guys. Um, some tips if you don't have these two elbow pads. What you should look for with elbow pads is not very much tension when you bend your arms. You should be looking for easy bending. So, when you dodge and everything that involves bending your arms is easy. Because if worrying about it hurting, you're not thinking about the game and then blah. So, yeah. 
Also, full protection. Not like these divots where it's protection space, protection space. That, that That's not good because the likelihood in lacrosse not getting hit where you're not padded is extremely low. So, um, there's another reason. And lastly, if you are looking and you think, you know, everything's fine, but you're still wondering, you know, I wonder what they get like when they're older. You can tell based on how it looks. I mean, if you look at these, which one, because I've had this the same amount of time, which one looks more worn down when you have them for a long time? Obviously the K-18. And you can kind of tell this when you first buy it. I mean, just, so, you know, brand-wise, you know, STX, good brand, but kind of, eh. Brian, you, I, a lot of people would prefer more. So, that was really my review today on which album pads to use. Please subscribe, leave a like below, and uh, comment on what else I should do, because I'm starting to run out of ideas. And if you dislike, tell me why, but don't get too violent. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and peace.